Shalom, brother and sister truth seekers. Just thought I'd do a quick update. I think the last update I gave was on the 3rd of March. So um, just going to walk through the uh, the data that people have been collecting leading up to this Equinox event. And you can, if you check the description uh, below this video, there'll be a link for this Dropbox folder. You shouldn't need to join Dropbox. But this data, oh, I guess I didn't say where this data comes from. Shame on me, but this is from California. Let me add in. Uh, yeah, it was just he was the only one who collected data here. But I do I do sort this by date. And I'm going to say that was Rob, I believe, I think. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to drop all this into his. Because sometimes there will be multiple uh, people in different locations collecting on the same date. So I found the, the thing that people seem to like to look at is like what is happening on a certain day first. Uh, so you drill down by the date first, and then once you go into these folders, you'll see there are, uh, if there are multiple locations, I have those in different folder. So this was in California and this was Rob Barron, I believe, and that's his YouTube channel, I think. And he's a pretty experienced sundialer. He knows what he's doing here. So he had his straight edge uh, on his first point there and his last point there. And it's those points are lifting off the line quite substantially. This was from March 10th. So still a pre-equinox curve on March 10th. The 11th, um, we had... Uh, a truth seeker in Malaysia. Now this is an important example. Um, he thought he was seeing the straight line. He had a couple days of practice here, uh, but I believe the, the issue he was having is his spread of data was too short. So I think he had from like uh, 10, 15 a.m. to like 4, 15 p.m., approximately six hours. And uh, that, unfortunately, with a spread of data that short, I'm you're, you're going to likely see the straight line for many days around the Equinox event because it's, it's really in the late mo uh, early morning and late evening where the hook starts to happen the most. Uh, so we'll, um, that's, that's just something that's definitely an important thing to keep in mind because I'm, I'm, I often hear from a lot of people around an Equinox like, oh, it's straight, it's straight, but it, it makes all the difference in the world to get uh, to get those early morning and late evening points, the barest minimum of from your first point of the day to the last point of the day, you want to try and collect eight hours minimum. That is like the bare minimum, but it, it can be really close and hard to tell even with that. So I mean, if at all possible, uh, get more. Like get as much as you can. Get your earliest point of the day and your latest point of the day. And really, what I'm I'm telling people is nine to ten hours, but. Uh, Eight hours, uh, that, that's like a barest minimum. Uh, but just do the best you can. Uh, but the more uh, hours you're able to collect, the easier it will be uh, for, for everyone to interpret your data. So this was Juan Carlos in uh, Chile, South America. And I just took a screen capture from his video. You can see uh, he just uploaded this the other day. Calendar updates to 2024, his Light to the Nations YouTube channel. But you can check it out if you want to see more of his data. He was also using an armillary, but he's pointing to this data point here, and he had his straight edge pulled pretty much to his first point of the day over here, but he was pretty sure uh, he wasn't seeing a cur uh, straight line yet, and he's very experienced at this. So mm, can, no, not a straight line yet for the 11th. Uh, the 12th, we had uh, Maui, and uh, looks like, um, again, a, a little spread of data. You can almost, it's kind of hard to see the curve, um, but that's another important point that I want to mention. Uh, and I did talk to this brother after the fact, and I think he's, he's what, what we want to do is we actually want to, pull our string or write our, our line or put our straight edge between the first point of the day straight to the last point of the day. You don't want to, you don't want to like drape it around uh, these midday marks. You, you just want to ignore the midday marks and make sure you're pulling a straight line from the first point to the last point. And then you'll clearly be able to see if the midday marks are 
off the line or on the line. Um, we'll, we'll look at a picture here, but I, I you can faintly see there. It looks like we're still looking at a curve there. Um, and that was the 12th. We had another truth seeker in Louisiana, I believe, USA practicing on the 12th. And uh, they did pretty good as well. So uh, a very good spread of data here. And just looking at this, this almost looks straight. But when you drop that line from your first point of the day to your last point of the day, ignore all these points between, just draw a straight line between your first and last point of the day, and then we can quickly see, are these midday points, are they on the line or off the line? And it'll be on the Equinox event, the day of the straight line, that these points will actually be on the line. All other days, they will be either below or above the line. So that's important. Uh, get as early in the morning as you can and as late in the evening as you can, two points uh, minimum, and then one point around midday. That is the bare minimum. If you can get all these other points, that's fine. But bare minimum is as early as you can, as late as you can, and midday. And then draw your line from your first point in the day to your last point in the day and see where these midday marks fall. And we can quickly see here that uh, we're not straight yet. And that was the, uh, the 12th. So now the 13th. Uh, New Zealand, I believe he had, uh, this is Asher in New Zealand, and he's really experimenting with his sundial. Um, you can kind of see a little bit of a curve there, I think. Uh, but I know, I think he mentioned he was clouded out uh, on this day. So we'll, um, we'll actually just jump ahead. He, he had, I think, data from today that we can look at. Uh, we'll go to the 14th. Uh, so this is Danon in California. And he was, um, he was doing something with, this is from the, uh, what did I say, the 14th. So he was doing something. These red lines are my lines that I added. He had these other lines drawn. I'm not sure what he was doing, maybe coming off of the first mark of the day and then drawing it straight through his next mark and kind of watching it get away from these other marks by the end of the day. Uh, but the thing we want to do is we, we want to make sure we're pulling the uh, our string or our straight edge from the first mark of the day to the last mark of the day. And then we can quickly see, okay, these marks are not yet on the line. And it looks like he was using two sundials here, uh, maybe a shorter pin here and a taller pin here. And it looks like his data was more pronounced uh, for the taller pin and a little closer here. I'm not sure if his first mark of the day looks like it was at the same time. I'm not sure if his last mark of the day was at the same time. But uh, yeah, that can make a difference too. It's kind of a fine dance. You just want to test something and make sure your, your shadow's not ghosting out, that you can clearly see the tip of your uh, object that you're recording your shadow off of as early in the morning and as late in the evening as possible. And then make sure you draw that line from the first and last point of the day and, uh, and then see where those midday marks are. So that's a pretty good curve. On the uh, on the 14th still, and uh, let's see. I think one more from today in uh, New Zealand. This is Asher, and um, he he has uh, I think a limited view of the sun, like uh, just uh, eight hours, barely eight hours from from the window sill or from his bedroom. He's able to collect so that. Again, I think in years past, I've been able to see a, the difference between curve and straight line, but it's that is like the barest minimum. So just do the best you can. Uh, but he's in a very important location this year. But it, you you can see he's he's got a he's got his points, his string pulled from the first point of the day to the last point of the day, and uh, it looks like these line these other points are coming off the line, so it's still curved. There's something going on with the uh, the data points here. Like, this should be a smooth curve. Like, it shouldn't be, like, wavy in and out. Like, it should be a, a pretty symmetrical uh, curve. So, it just want to be careful that the, the board didn't move. I notice this is cardboard, so just want to make sure this nail isn't uh, flopping around. Or, or when, you, when you make your mark in the board, you're not pushing on that board. And, like, the, the thing is, like, sinking in and moving. Um, but I think this is 
looking pretty clear that we're, we're still seeing a curve here. So just more things to consider as we get closer and closer. And I know he's got this setup of his sitting in a window and just a, a tip for him and anyone else who has this, the closer you're able to get your gnomon to the window, the, the, the earlier you might be able to get a point in the morning and the evening, like the, the closer this thing is to the window. Cause when it sits in away from the windowsill, like the, the window frame can like block the sun for a few extra, like maybe even like half an hour, an hour. Uh, so potentially, um, yeah, I've done that before where I just put a post-it note right on the window and I use the corner of the post-it note as my gnomon uh, and I put just paper on the windowsill and I've, I've had good results that way. So uh, that's it for now. Uh, on the 16th, <clears throat> we'll be getting more updates here soon, I'm sure. More and more, starting to hear from more and more people. Uh, it, but, uh, yeah, that's it for now. No straight line yet. Um, feel free to, uh, send your, any of your data to uh, voice of truth and love at gmail.com or, uh, you know, the, um, the Facebook group, we're always throwing anything, any live feeds, any data, uh, everyone's free to upload there and I'll pull it and I'll, I'll get it into this Dropbox folder. So it's organized, but, um, yeah, feel free to let me know, know if you have any questions, and uh, stay tuned for another update tune. So, shalom, and may Allah bless you as you continually seek out his truths in love with a pure heart.